Thanks for joining me as we delve just a little bit deeper into metric conversions by doing what I call double unit conversions. All right, by a double unit conversion, I mean that there's a unit in the numerator and there's a unit in the denominator. So you have a, a per, um, meters per second, kilometers per hour. Um, often it's going to be used as a rate, okay? Not always, but, but often. Um, grams per mole, you're going to see in chemistry, for example. And so if it's a per unit, um, I'm going to show you two ways that I personally allow in my class. Um, the first is the preferred way. What you want to do is to recognize that you have 3 times 10 to the 8th meters for every one second. So the meters in this case is a unit that's in the numerator, right? It's in the numerator of the unit. The seconds are in the denominator of the unit. So I'm going to put the meter part in the denominator and that implied one second, excuse me, I might have said denominator, I meant numerator. I'm going to put the implied one second in the denominator. Okay, and now we have to convert them. Since this is all multiplication and division, it doesn't matter which you choose. I did seconds first. I like to deal with my denominator first. I want to go from seconds, so let's take a look at this. I need to go from meters to nanometers in a step, and I need to go from seconds to hours, okay? So I want to go first from seconds to minutes to hours. So Seconds are in the denominator, so to get them to cancel, I put them in the numerator. Okay, so now if I stopped my math, I'd have meters per minute. Okay, but I can't, I can't stop at minutes, I gotta get to hours. So minutes are in the denominator, so I have to crisscross or go up to the numerator to get them to cancel. Okay. Now, I have my denominator taken care of. I have hours per hour. I have it in my denominator. Now I have to deal with my numerator, right? So I've got meters. I want to get rid of meters and go to nanometers. That's a one-step conversion. Make sure the number one is by your prefix. Multiply everything in the numerator, divide by everything in the denominator, and you would have your answer to three significant figures. Okay, let's try another one because these are a little bit tricky. And like I said, I will show you two ways to do this, okay? So I don't have room on that next page, so I'm just going to erase after I do the first way. So we've got our first way, and when it's a long conversion, that's honestly when doing this kind of railroad approach can help. Not sure how many steps I'll have, but I'm going to start with four. So I've got micrograms per milliliter. So I've got micrograms per milliliter, and I have to get to grams per liter. So that means I have to convert micrograms to grams and milliliters to liters. I'm going to show you two ways I accept this you have to follow your teacher or professor's lead on that. So the first is to say, well, I've got 0 0.7 micrograms per, it's implied, that's per or for every one milliliter. Right, that's implied in the per, okay? Now, I like to deal with my denominator first. Don't ask why, it doesn't matter whether you do this or the other. I'm going to take milliliters to liter. So milliliters in the denominator, to get it to cancel, I have to crisscross up to the numerator. Whoops, sorry about that. That should be a liter there. Okay, per liter. Find your prefix. There's your 1. 1 times 10 to the 
minus 3. I now have leader in my denominator. My denominator is good. Okay. Now I've got to get rid, I've got to go from micrograms to grams. So I actually have a little bit too much here in terms of conversion lines. So I'm just going to start here. Um, I've got my liter in the denominator. My milliliters have canceled. Now I'm going to deal with my numerator. Micrograms are in the numerator. I'm going to crisscross to my denominator to get them to cancel. Find your prefix. There's your one. Micro is minus six. It's a challenging one for you. Okay? And my answer to actually only one significant figure is 7 times 10 to the minus 4th. Now take a look. The micrograms canceled. I'm left with grams for every 1 liter or grams per liter. Okay? Now, I do have another way I'll let you do this. And that way is to do it in steps. Step 1. Take 0 0.7 micrograms and convert it to grams. I'm going to assume you know how to do that from earlier practice. Um, and if you did that, you would get 7 times 10 to the minus 7 grams. Show work. Do math, show math. Step 2. This is implied to be per 1 milliliter. So take one milliliter and convert it to liters. Do math, show math. One milliliter is equal to one times 10 to the minus three liters. Step three, we want this grams per liter, okay? So that means you're going to take your grams divided by your liters. So you're going to take your answer number one and you're going to divide by your answer from number two. And you'd get grams divided by or per liter. Okay? Do math. Show math. Listen to your teacher and your professor so you get full credit. All right. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate your time.